In this video, I will talk about some catification small apartment hacks. So everyone, get ready if you want to catify your house. All right, you guys want to see my cat house? Get ready. Wow. Ta-da! Hey, it's Melicat. If you're into animals, budget travel, or even exploration, come into my channel. Action! Get ready to catify small apartments. Here we go. This is actually a bookshelf. Um, it's not exactly intended for cats. It's uh, reinforced so that it doesn't collapse when case all cats actually uh, stand on top. According to the contractors, they said if a person stands on top, it's still kind of okay. In my catified apartment, you'll see these pegs on the wall. So add a t-shirt. Ta-da! We got a hammock. Little toys, little figurines that some of you guys gave me. Thank you. I actually collect it here. This is supposed to be for toy cars. And I just, because it has an acrylic door, so it protects the cats from it. It actually has a lock on the side, so they can't get to it. They don't jump on here because it's just not appealing. Now, with shoes. Um, I spray my shoes down before I bring it into the house. This is screwed onto the wall as possible so nothing falls over. Drowning hazard. Um, so make sure you have a lid on your fish tank that cannot be kicked off. Um, because as I say, they're ninjas. Don't underestimate them. I actually taped it on. See, See there's a hole in here. The way that it's designed, it's so that I can lift it up like that. Not the best design. Nope, not the best because what happens is that Buddy will stick his hands through that hole in the middle and he'll fish out, um, I guess it's fish soup for him. It's a fish water. He drinks that stuff. So I make sure that I don't put any chemicals or any additives in the water. It's basically just a natural ecosystem. my couch you're probably gonna wonder is like where's the space for human beings well the, the real answer is there's no space so when I watch TV I kind of have to watch like this sometimes I know it's 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 my house right but no it's actually their house they all have their favorite materials to be sleeping on some likes my lap blanket some likes my um, my kitty fleece blanket and some just likes my um, the cat so they lay underneath and then they play with the dangly doo-doos. Um, it's kind of like what babies play with. These are the winter stuff. He likes to sleep in there um, because he's just really cold all the time. Same thing with this one and both of them are actually very machine washable. Um, but yeah, this is my cat couch. But one more thing is if you look underneath, this couch is actually like a sofa bed. Um, so when it's extended like this, this creates a tunnel, which they love. They love this tunnel. Um, they go in and out all the time. They like to chase each other in and out of it. So I just keep it out just for their sake. It's the same thing at the back of my couch. They can actually hide like behind my couch. All my cats who just first came to this house, they always hide in there. One of their favorite places. Support my channel. If you like my content and want to keep my channel alive, all the information's in the description. Thanks guys. This is the activity center. So the theme of this place actually changes all the time. This one right here, you will actually see, it's called an interactive cat toy. So what happens is that one cat sets off something here and then supposedly um, they can play alone or they can play with other cats. Sometimes they can play with this all night long. Well, it's pretty cool. It keeps them busy, but then the only downside is it can get kind of noisy. Okay, and then you can see it's basically all cat toys that's scattered all around here. Cat furniture, hammocks, which I talked about in another video about how to reinforce these suckers because it's actually a strangling hazard. That I will talk about in another video. Oh, oops. Okay, there it goes. Okay, um, these things are actually 
tested um, from me and it's actually just as stable as these ones, surprisingly. I did not realize that the mechanics of this is actually good enough for two or even three cats if they stand on top. I still don't know how it works, but it just does. That reminds me I should actually pay attention in um, physics class. Now, another thing you guys are going to wonder about is these things. So if you look at it this way, like this is actually just like a cat scratch post, but it's kind of like uh, at, a, at a different angle. So these things I actually ordered from Ukraine. I don't suggest you guys making it yourself unless you're handy. Um, it's not that expensive anyway, so I just leave it to the professionals. I'll show you in the link where you can get these things. For apartment cats, it's important that there's a lot of vertical space for them. Uh, that way, if they're skittish, if they're shy, or sometimes just feeling antisocial, which we all do sometimes, uh, we're not always in their face. For those who are a little bit handy, you can think about these things, these ones. So this is actually just bought from Ikea. These are just storage boxes. They're kind of like wine crates. I don't suggest using a wine crate because it turned out they use pretty cheap wood for general wine crates and they don't last very long. If you live somewhere that's humid, <clears throat> because they disintegrate and you grow mold. These ones, they don't seem to have the special coating on it. So what happens is that if you actually look closely here, um, I actually took a crate and you look on the side right here, I actually got like a wood saw and actually carved this out. This wasn't part of the initial design. And then I got a two by four, a uh, piece of wood, uh, kind of saw it to the right dimensions here, kind of smooth it off and then uh, screwed it in. These are actually uh, like pet pillows that you get from Ikea. And um, it happens to fit perfectly. I don't know why. So these are the, the ones for winter and these ones are the ones for summer. This is smooth, it's nice, it's nice and cool. This is nice and warm. Okay. They love these cat beds, by the way. They're always hanging out there. And moving on, um, there's actually carpet on top of here, which I'll, um, which I'll show you. Um, See, this is good for their grip, actually. What happens is that I actually cut a piece of the carpet that looks like burlap and then I actually use like um, a staple gun and staple it onto the top. These are actually little carpet squares. What happens is that if your cat made an oopsie, if they vomited, if they made a mess, or even if you spilled something yourself, you can actually just take this thing off and then you can throw it in the washing machine. And this is super durable, Japanese made. Um, I can't complain, it's not cheap, but it's just very good. I think it, I definitely got my money's worth. It actually does a few things, keeps your place clean. Sometimes they jump from pretty high up. This has some sort of softness to it, so it protects your joints a little bit. Um, not completely, but better than landing on something like so hard, which their paws aren't really designed for. Not to mention that they have better grip when they're running in the house. When taking care of your cat, it's uh, very important to think about their litter boxes. This is uh, how I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six litter boxes. So how this goes is this is actually like a, a wire mesh frame that it can actually take a lot of weight. So I just found the approximate right size so I can actually manage to stack them. So I know this is not a litter box. This is actually like a storage box that I um, got from Ikea. Generally, they like this one a lot. So I kept it in there. Some people will ask me, which ones do I use? Do I use the top loading ones like this? Or do I use the ones like this? I guess it depends on the cat. If you have peaceful cats at home where they don't get attacked when they're using the litter box, these, these ones are okay. But some cats are like, eh, not really. The design of these ones, if you look in here, notice how it's top loading. So they actually go all the way in and this space is really big. So when they come back out, the first place they land is here. And if you can see the ridges, that's where all the cat litter gets stored. So the tracking doesn't uh, get brought back into the house. So super good for that one. Typical of Buddy. He doesn't really claw it, uh, on the litter. It's more like onto the walls. 
Air purifiers, one, two. There is one more in my room, self-explanatory. Also, great item from Ikea. I don't think they have it in all countries, um, so let me know if they actually have it in your region. You just wrap your table legs with it and they just go crazy. Cat furniture, the way that it goes up, this is where they land on that um, cat tower. They go up and they go all the way across because um, if you look carefully, it actually forms like a perfect circuit. Right now, for some less experienced pet owners, this is actually kind of like a, a semi-pro tip. All your electrical cords, I decided to put a wine crate to put everything in there along with my power strip. Um, there's a reason for it. One is um, some cats have a tendency to bite them, which gets kind of dangerous. Tuck it in here. This is barely enough. And for I've tried it with them. It's not very tempting for them to go into this area um, given the circumstances. There's just too many things in here. This space is too small. They don't want to get in. And so that, that keeps everything safe. Um, I like that a lot. It really helps. Water fountains. This, some cats, some people ask me, how can I get, get my cats to drink more water? Now, cats are not programmed to drink stagnant water. So uh, when you have a fountain, it kind of mimics um, the natural water that they have in the wild. So if you look. Um, it goes like this, and it, it comes out right here, and in the middle, in between, there's actually the filter. So the water actually gets filtered repeatedly. So all the dust, all the lint, all the hair actually gets filtered. So the water's always clean, but don't forget you have to wash this thing because sometimes mildew grows up, which is disgusting. Okay, bathroom. Um, there's nothing special about it, but there's a few things I want to mention. Again, the wire mesh. This place um, prevents from, from falling out. It's taped. Why, why, why is there a hanger here? Okay, anyway, I'll use this as a pointer. If you look at my bathtub, come on in. Come look at my bathtub. You're gonna wonder, why is there water? There's water in my bathtub. And there's enough to cover the bottom of my bathtub because Blue Cat likes to pee in it. Um, she's litter trained, but she thinks this is even a better um, litter box. So she has a habit of peeing and pooing. And um, yeah, so I have to put a little bit of water so that she, it's not comfortable for her to dive in. And now for kids, just the kids, babies, cat babies, cats, um, the stuff that's underneath your bathroom sink, all the cleaning product, is actually not the safest. So I try to keep them away from it because this place is very appealing for them. For some reason, oh, someone just flushed the toilet for me. The, fra the fragrance that comes from the cleaner, for some reason, it attracts them. So I have to make sure that the hinges on these things are quite stiff, that they don't open this easily. Sometimes I would recommend just taping it or having a child resistant lock because they love going inside. So better safe than sorry. All right, kiddos. All right, get up, get up, get up, get up. Toilet cover, always down. Always, always, always down. Not negotiable. Before you go into my room, see some of the cat goodies? Scratch post. Cat tunnel, so this thing just Their, is their favorite thing. They, they can play with each other for a long time in that thing. Same thing, crinkle bag. More cat goodies. This is my room. They love, they love the view right here. Now, if you look carefully, there's actually quite a few gimmicks. Actually, if Jackson Galaxy saw this, he would say this is cat TV because that way the cats can actually look outside and be stimulated. This is Ricardo, by the way. Anyway, he likes a camouflage. So, see these boxes that have nothing in it? These baskets? Again, this is for winter. They like the clothy feeling. This is for summer. This is actually made from, I think, plastic ties. I got it from Malaysia. And um, it's quite cooling. They, they just like to be in there. This took up the most of my bay window. Um, sometimes if it gets really cold, I have a hot water bottle for cats that want to lay on top. Oh, hey, buddy. Underneath my bed, under my uh, sheets, is actually a warming 
is a warming heat pad that's built for the mattress. And the best part about this, it's that you can wash it in the washing machine. Uh, it's a warming mattress. So if I want, I can turn it on and then you'll see the cats are all over it. Same thing in my room. If you look at, if you look at the situation, Again, it's one circuit that goes all the way around my room. Now, there's a few things that I've done. One, they can actually go down here and jump onto my bed. Even if they fall, it's falling onto something soft. Protects your joints right here. This gives them another exit. So say if Sir Carlos is being an ass and he's attacking my cats, they are not forced to leave from there. They can actually leave from here. See how um, it goes in a circle? and they can actually leave from here, which I have designed um, a ladder, and next to this tower, they go up. This is usually what happens, kind of in that sequence. One, or one, two, three, and then up they go. What did I use to feed my cats? Actually, they're on a time dispenser. This thing actually dispenses food uh, four times a day. I use actually like a normal plate um, because it's easier to clean. The plastic trays that it comes with, those are like a bed for bacteria, so I don't really use it. I thought of having stainless steel, but I couldn't find the right size, so I ended up using like food plates that I would use. Both machines actually dispense simultaneously because Sir Carlo's a bit of an ass, and so he would actually like claw my cats when the food comes out. Um, so so in order not to intimidate my cats, two of the food machine goes on at the same time, so he can't be at two places at the same time. So all of my cats would go to one other one. For this one, it's the same. All electrical cords, um, the, the power strip in a box, tucked underneath, they can't reach it. Same logic. All right, now the next thing, you're probably gonna wonder, why is my drawer open? There's a reason for it. This is where my socks, my bras, and my panties are used to be. Not anymore, because underneath, um, that half of the bed is storage. This half is the drawer. It's actually their cat bed. So as you can see, all these are actually connected inside. And they love it because there's a privacy, and that one over there, barely even opens, so even more privacy. Sometimes I wake up and I would actually see like multiple cats in here. Hey, Sir Carlos. Okay, so just have to be very careful when you open and close them. Right, buddy? All right. I know it's really weird to have a giant box sitting in the middle of your house, but hey, it's their house, right? See, he's in there. Hey, buddy. It's true. Sometimes when you bought this really luxurious cat toy, you think they like it, but then it turned out they uh, like the box the most. Uh, paper towels. They're known to like shred and eat up my paper towels. So I have to hide them somewhere where I can get it, but they can't get it. So I'm gonna put it on top of here. Now you're gonna wonder, what the heck is this thing? This space on top of here is so wide that all of my cats can, technically speaking, stand on here and bring the whole thing down. And I don't want that to happen. So I created this thing, put it on top because it looks kind of pointy and it gives them the illusion that it's something solid that they should not be standing on because you don't want to be standing on like on top of a Toblerone. So it actually worked. Oh my God, thank God. I just got these caps or little cups because in Hong Kong, this is how you start a flame. Press it down and then twist it. That's how you start any flame. So I want to minimize the risk of somebody stepping on it and giving a good kick and actually setting my house on fire. Um, I know this is kind of ugly right now. It gets cat hair in there. Don't underestimate it. When there is no water in it, they can easily pull this thing out, like easily. Make sure you tuck it in somewhere. Whoa. Okay, wait a minute. So this is not facing out. It's like that, so it's cat proof. There's no way they can pull it by here all the way to here. That chance is very little. So make sure this is cat proof as well, if that's what you have. Um, you don't want cats to be falling out of your apartment. Now, I'm one of those moms that are like really worried all the time. The window can be open back there all the way if I want, but I have, these are stainless steel. It's a mesh, so they put an extra frame 
on top of here. So air still comes through. It looks somewhat transparent. Uh, at the same time, the catch will pull out. I still get the air ventilation, but I kind of tape it just in case they can pull this open. It's magnetic, but I still don't trust it 100%. Just for double security in case my cats can pick at it because never underestimate cats. They're freaking ninjas. In my kitchen, there wasn't a lot of storage area, so I have to make some. So this is the same wire mesh that I used for my cat litter box. Ta -da! And you're gonna wonder. So again, it's the same logic with the wine crate that stores all my electrical cords. So whatever all the kitchen foods goodies, I put it here. So the cats, if you look at this distance, the cats can only paw, but they cannot drag anything out. Um, so this will actually protect it against them. Because Mui Mui, she likes to eat. Um, <laughs> Because she likes to eat, um, she likes to eat bags. Hi, Sir Carlos. Needless to say, endless supply of wet food. Endless. Alrighty, so that's most of the tips and tricks that I've applied to my apartment as I catified it for my cats. It's not an exhaustive list, but uh, I hope it's useful for some of you uh, that you guys can have some takeaways from this video. If you guys also live in an apartment and have done some catification on your own, um, let me know what are some of the stuff that you guys did because I want to better improve mine as well. Uh, so leave me a message on the comments. Thanks you guys, see you later. Thank you.